Okay, so today on Have Diapers Will Travel, I will be going over the Moab Giants Paleo Safari in Moab, Utah. Here's the outside here. Now the music you're hearing it does be is played partially throughout the safari. Unfortunately, it's only played in certain parts. And this isn't the exact music, but it's the closest I could find online. That's one of the big downsides of this place, is it does not play this really nice native music throughout the entire safari. Now, what this place is, is it is a place where they found a lot of dinosaur bones and tracks and whatnot here in Utah. So they've got this little, uh... Well, it's not really... It's, uh... They've got a whole bunch of dinosaur statues, life-size dinosaur statues, on this hike that you can take down through this beautiful stretch of desert. And um, this is not unique to Utah. There's a couple other places in the state that do this. Um, my personal favorite is the George Eccles Dinosaur Park in Ogden, Utah. But the dinosaur the dinosaurs are not quite as realistic there, and it's not quite as big. They have more dinosaurs packed into a smaller area, but the statues here I think look a bit more realistic. Some of them even have feathers, which is more historically accurate. However, the one in Ogden does have music pumped throughout the entire thing, whereas this one has it only in sporadic random parts. So, it's a bit of a trade-off there, but as you can see, they've got these wonderful, wonderful dinosaurs, and this beautiful landscape behind us here. Just look at that beautiful southern Utah landscape. I was also going to go to Arches, since that's right down the road from here, but the line was way too long to get in, even right after they opened, so I'm like, I think this one was a better choice. Now, you do have to be careful with some of these, as some of these are very well hidden and can jump out at you if you're not paying attention. We'll see that later on in the video here. Um, but uh, let's take a look at some of these beautiful life-size dinosaurs. You see a train going by there, it's not something that they really can't control for. It kind of ruins the experience, because you're supposed to be going through a safari in the prehistoric era. That's the whole theme. And having a train pass by like this kind of ruins it. But, in all honesty, like I said, that's not something they can control for, since the railroad was there long before they were. So, I just try to ignore it. But, um, let's try to ignore it and enjoy the dinosaurs here. Admission to this place does cost quite a bit. Uh, quite a bit more than I think it's worth. But, um, you know, if they lowered the price by a couple bucks, it would definitely be worth it. But, uh, it's really a lot of fun. If you ever get the chance to, I say give it a chance if you have the extra money. But, um, yeah. You can also take pictures with these dinosaurs. Some of them you can go right up to and touch. Some of them are a bit further behind barricades. It's an awful lot of fun. But these giant, uh, yeah. I think they're fiberglass. They're beautiful, beautiful art pieces. And like I said, they look a bit more realistic than most of the ones I've seen at other parks, like this. And I love this music, I just wish they had it throughout the entire exhibit, because that was, that is, that is quite literally my biggest complaint about this, is that they should pop this music through the entire thing. If they did that, it would be a lot better. Uh, I don't remember the names of hardly any of these. I'm not a dinosaur expert, 
But I do find dinosaurs absolutely fascinating. And, uh, like I said, from what I understand, these are very accurate. There's this guy here. And I believe it was this guy or some other one where I wasn't paying attention when I first, uh, when I first came here. I wasn't paying attention. And it kind of jumped out at me and caused a, um, a diaper to be dampened moment. Let's see if I can find where that was. Oh, yeah, there's the one. There's the one. Wasn't paying attention and that guy kind of jumped out at me there. Because he's kind of hidden behind a bush. So, diaper to be dampened moment there. Luckily, it wasn't that far away from bathroom and where I could go and get changed here in a little bit, but oh my god, some of these are absolutely beautiful and they're very, very impressive works. Yeah. So I'd say this is a really good stop if you have the money. It's a good place, but uh, look at these beautiful, beautiful dinosaurs. Got some information on the placards. There we go. Here's the bathroom where I was able to uh, get a diaper change. Because, like I said, some of them jump out at you. But that's okay. Moving right along here. All fresh and clean. Don't really have much to say about some of these. But, um,. Moab's a good city to visit if you ever get the chance to. It's not the best by far, but I've got a lot here. I really, really wish I could have seen arches, but oh well. Perhaps another time. And this was pretty neat. Got the little, uh, what's it, uh, those are the ones from Jurassic Park, those spitting ones, and then there's the duckbills over there. Yeah. Just really big, really nice art pieces that look very, very realistic, I mean. Um, if I didn't know that they were fictional and they were, you know, if I didn't know that these were statues, I would probably think they were real, if, uh, out of context. That one actually looks kind of cute, I like that one. Yeah. And they got all sorts of dinosaurs. They got plant eaters, they got the meat eaters, they got some in battle poses, not as many as you'd think. At uh, the other park I mentioned, they have a lot of them in battle poses, and some of them eating some of the other ones and whatnot. So more action-oriented there. These ones, they're more relying on you going up and taking pictures with them than just walking around the exhibits. But it's still really, really neat. I bet little kids could have a lot of fun here, because I had a lot of fun here. So... And as you can see, on this one, for example, it's got some small feather-like, almost fur-like uh, stuff on the head there, which, here at the top of the head there, which is actually more historic, which is actually more scientifically accurate than the scaly, lizard-like dinosaurs that uh, most people are familiar with. And there's me standing next to it for scale, just to show you how damn big these things are. There's meant to be life size, so they're the size that they actually would have been. That is absolutely crazy. I can't imagine how much work it must take to build one of these things. But, uh, there's another good shot there showing sort of the fur like feather type things that they have on there that uh, make it look rougher in scales. Excellent, excellent craftsmanship. They put a lot of detail into these. I am very impressed. And 
this is the museum that they have on site here. I couldn't film a hell of a lot in here, but I got a little bit of it. You got some dinosaur bones, a few interactive exhibits, stuff like that. They have a 3D water show, but that costs extra. Oh, here's the room of uh, taxidermy. Who else here finds taxidermy really freaking creepy? I love it as an art form, but it's just creepy as hell. Anyway. Um, yeah, they got a 3D show for aquatic dinosaurs, but that one costs a ton extra, so I'm not even gonna bother with that one. And there we have the roof of the museum here. We got a uh, paid lookout thing up there with the binoculars. Beautiful scenery all over. Utah is a very, very beautiful state. And then finally, we got the last place that I visited on my trip here, which is the gift shop. Gift shops are massively important. Unfortunately, they didn't want me filming in the gift shop, so here's what we got. Overall, I'd say this was a decent experience. It could have been a lot better, but it could have been a lot worse. As far as rating it goes, I give the Moab Giants 3 out of 5 diapers. It's worth it if you have the extra money and happen to be in Moab, but it's not something you need to see, or something that I think you should go out of your way to see. It's not bad, it's not great, but uh, yeah, there you have it. It has a decent gift shop, a fun trail to travel, excellent... Uh, life-size dinosaurs, but it could be a lot better. Three out of five. Okay, so I was planning on doing a much longer review for this place, but turns out there isn't really that much here to do or talk about, so I just decided to put it at the end of this one. I'm going to be talking about Four Corners here for a minute or two. It's basically a monument here where four different states, New Mexico, Utah, Arizona, and Colorado collide. The only place in the continental United States where you can stand in four different states at the same time. And the only place where I was able to wet myself in four different states at the same time, so... Yay! Uh, achievement unlocked! Anyway... Um, that's pretty much it. It's just the one monument there. They do have what I guess you could call a gift shop. It's really just a bunch of local natives, local Native Americans, uh, selling Native American trinkets out of, uh, shops surrounding the monument. And it costs an, a much larger amount to get in here than it should. Do not buy the food here. It is massively overpriced. So, a lot of that weighs this thing down. Honestly, the good gift shop, or what I guess you could call gift shops, is really the only redeeming feature here. Um, it's This one is not worth the money. They don't accept the National Parks Pass, so if you have that, that's completely useless here, even though they probably should, since it gets supposed to get you into monuments. But, uh, if you want to stand in four states at once, this is the only place to do it, but... It's not really worth that much. Uh, yeah, so I guess that's it. There's really not much to say about this one. Um, Why well, do anything in four states at once, I guess this is a good place for it. I give this place two diapers out of five. It's not really worth your money. Just skip it, save it, and go to someplace else. Um, four Corners is just not worth it. It just really isn't. Just... Don't even bother with this place. It's not worth the, worth the money or the gas to visit, even if you're in the area. It's just no. Just no. I know I'm not that smart, but let me drive my van into your heart. Let me drive my van into your heart. I know I'm not that rich. I'm trying to get my start. So let me drive my hand into your heart. Let me 